Why are you making kit? What's that? Well, it's a collection of items which help you to start campfire whenever you need to, or should I say, at least most of the times. Ability to make a fire is quite nice option to have while doing outdoor stuff. Maybe you need to boil water, cook some food, fire gives you warmth, or you can make campfire just for fun. To make a fire, you will need to take something to help the process with you, a fire making kit. You could drop some sticks together to make a fire, but it takes time, energy and a lot of practice. And can be quite hard. Don't get me wrong, you should learn to use bow and drill to start a fire, but sometimes easier options are also okay to use. Something like using matches could be a little easier. Of course, sometimes matches don't work, maybe they are wet or it's too windy, then it's good to have also another options available. Here is my fire making kit. This is the one that I take with me when I'm going hiking. It may not be really cool looking, but so far it has worked great. When I'll find more suitable container, I'll update to that. Okay, what I have here. Matches, great when they are dry, useless if they are wet. Wet fire, fire starting tinder. These burn even when they are wet. Don't know what these actually contain, but they burn good. This is something that I use most often. Then I have fire steel. Basically, it's a piece of metal that makes hot sparks when you scrape certain type of metal against it. Spark temperature is something like uh, 1600 degrees of Celsius or uh, 3000 Fahrenheit. So, pretty hot. Fire steel can be used even when wet, so great option to have. Then I have magnesium fire starter. You can save little pieces from this and then use the temperature this saving produces while burning to start the burn process of other materials like wood. Burning temperature of this uh, magnesium is really high, about 3100 degrees of Celsius or uh, 5600 degrees of Fahrenheit. Magnesium is a little more dangerous material, it produces UV light when burning uh, so not good for your eyes and water causes explosion when it hits burning magnesium. Then I have cotton balls. These are pretty easy to set on fire when they are dry. When wet they don't burn, so keep them dry. Candle. Don't have to explain how this works. Is the light last long, so you can use it to start fire in other materials. Also produces light and can be used even inside of tent. So nice option to have. Inside this one, I have cotton balls containing petroleum jelly. These are a little messy to use, but otherwise a good option to have. Lighter, easy to use, but ignition don't work when wet. One downside with this is that it's easy to press the switch here that controls the gas. So this can empty itself if it gets pressed accidentally in pocket ETC. Inside this uh, waterproof container I have stormproof matches. More cotton balls here also.
this burn better than normal matches as you can see much more material here so quite nice option to have also I also have this uh, striking surface inside this container so without striking surface obviously they don't work this item should help you to start the fire in most situations of course in addition the ability to start the fire you need something to burn so unless you are bringing firewood with you you have to find some fire making kit doesn't have to be even this big what i have here the basic idea is that the kit should be quite small and lightweight to make this kit smaller i could remove the standard matches for example also i could pre-save magnesium to smaller container so i would not need to take this only smaller amount try what works for you and make fire making kit for yourself out of those items see you